Hi, upload search results to AWS S3 is an alert action add-on. This will give an option to upload search results to AWS S3 buckets. This alert action can be configured to reports, alerts or directly from search to upload their results to AWS S3 in three supported formats. ZZ, it's a default option, CSV and JSON. This is the version 2.0.0. And here I have added some other functionality to the existing uh, TA. First one added extra functionality to upload search results to any directory under specified bu bucket. Before uh, the, this option was not available, you could only save the um, search results only under bucket. You could not be able to specify the uh, directory under any bucket. And added extra debugging information to troubleshoot the app easily. Masked keys in debug logs, only last four characters are shown in debug logs. Uh, we, we give uh, access key and a secret key while setting up the app. So uh, in the previous version, these were actually uh, uh, shown up in the debug logs. Now I have masked them to show only last four characters and uh, updated vulnerable uh, jQuery as well. I'll download this TA now. It's downloaded. I'll upload this TA to Splunk now. TA has been successfully installed. I'll go ahead and restart the Splunk service. Restart Splunk. Okay. Okay, this is the TA and here we need to configure access key and secret key. Okay, let's see the uh, details of this TA in Splunk base. So there are a few uh, prerequisites and it will talk about how to set up the alert action and how to configure the alert action. Let's check what are the prerequisites here. Add-on needs to be configured with access key and secret key. So this is the procedure to follow to get the access key and secret key from the AWS. So um, I have already logged into AWS console here. So the first step here is to um, click on the username in AWS console. Click on my security credentials from drop down and expand access keys and we can create the new access key. Let's follow these steps in the AWS console. This is the username. You can see here security credentials. And we can expand this access keys. After you see here create new access key, click on this one and just show access key. Don't worry, I'm going to uh, delete these access keys after this demo demo. Okay, access key. And then secret key. Okay, save. And uh, this SSL verify sometimes um, if you have a proxy, uh, you you might need to uh, enable this option so that you know SSL certificate will be uh, uh, verified by the server. And then logging here, just set it up to debug for now. Later we will change it to uh, info. If you have a proxy, you can enable the proxy. You can set up the host name, port, username, and password. I don't have any proxy here, so I'm leaving this blank. Now, there are two options uh, to upload search results to AWS S3. We can directly upload from the search itself or we can just create a, uh, we can save the uh, search as a report or alert and we can add this S3 um, upload action under the actions. I'll show you both the options here. First, uh, let me just create some sample data. First, I'm going to show you how we can upload these search results to AWS S3 using the Splunk search directly. So uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just you know trying to get some sample data using this search. 
we'll see here there are 15 records okay in the last 24 hours so now i'm going to call this um alert that is s3 underscore upload i'm passing these parameters bucket name file format and file name let me just verify if this bucket is available in my jws s3 i'll download these key files for now just to make sure that even if we have some issues then we can make use of this later hello close it and let me just go to s3 bucket as you see here there is a bucket called test hyphen drum let me just open this one there are no objects inside i have already given here a bucket name as test hyphen drum and the first file format i'm going to test is that uh, zz and file name would be fun let me just run this one yeah it is successfully ran so now we'll troubleshoot if we just go to uh, splunk add-on in this splunk base you can see the troubleshooting steps as well here you see here uh, index equal to underscore internal source type equal to this one and table time signature sort time to see the latest event first let me just copy this one i'm going back to the search uh, let me just uh, paste it here in the last 15 minutes you see here the message saying that upload success let's go back to the uh, aws console here and let's refresh the now you can see here uh, uh file name called fun underscore this is a timestamp when this file has been created dot csv dot cz let's go back to the uh, app details in the splunk base to show you what are these uh, parameters so this i already showed you uh, how to set up alert action we need to go to the app configuration add-on settings here this is the app upload search results and then uh, configuration and then add-on settings this is where you just need to give the access key and uh, secret key all right so now i'll go back to the uh, details again here so uh, to configure this alert action we need we need to set up our three um, uh, parameters bucket name file name and file format only bucket name is uh, a mandatory field file name you can just ignore it so uh, I talked about three scenarios where you can upload search results to AWS S3. One Plunk search, another one is from uh, alert reports. So if you're directly calling uh, alert action from search Splunk search, by default, if you don't specify file name, it will create a file name in the bucket as test underscore timestamp dot whatever the file, uh, file format you have uh, chosen. In this Splunk search, if you can if you configure uh, this in the uh, report or alert, and if you don't specify file name, the default file name would be the uh, search name of that alert or report. So there are three file formats. Currently, uh, I have tested only one file format that is uh, zz. Uh, let me just you know uh, uh, test JSON and uh, CSV both. Let me just, just go back to the search here. As you can see here, I'm going to run it again. This time I'm going to specify CSV. Okay. So this has been successfully run. So let me just go back to the internal logs and search and see what happened. So you can see here um, alert uh, action S3 underscore upload started. And we can see uh, the inputs we have given access key and secret key in the add-on settings and uh, verify ssl we haven't uh, checked that's the reason it's showing none and bucket name we specified in the search itself so test hyphen rum file name we have given fun and format what we have chosen is csv this is a results file when the search ran this file will be created and this will be used to create the file which we want to upload to aws s3 uh, if you have set up uh, proxies it will show up here since we haven't set it set up any proxy it's uh, empty and file name set to this is the file name this will be the file name used and this will be the file name uh,
will be uploaded to AWS S3. And this is a uh, uh, temporary uh, source file. This is the file where actually you know we are ri uh, writing the details from this results file to uh, some temporary source file. And uh, finally, this will be the file name. We will see it in the AWS S3. And uh, this is the status whether it is a success or not. We can see it's a success. Okay, uh, let's go back to the AWS S3 console to see whether the file has been created or not. This file we have seen this was created earlier. Now let me just reload. As you can see, there is a CSV file been created. Now let's go back to the um, search again to see whether JSON is successfully created or not. Let me just return the search again. Again, this is completed now. Let's go back to the internal logs to see what happened. You see here um, JSON and the results file. This is a results file, and this is showing upload success. Let's go back to the AWS console. Just reload this one. As you can see here, JSON. If you just wanted to see whether you know uh, whatever the results we uploaded, whether they are just showing up here or not, we can just download this one. Let me just download this file. And I'll show you whether this is the same as the search results we have seen it in the search. Let me just open the sublime, open downloads, fun JSON. As you can see here, this is the JSON format it will create. And in the same way, if you want to see whether the CSV is successfully uploaded or not, let me just um, download this one as well. Download. And again, I'll go to Sublime Editor. Let me just open that file. The CSV. You see here, um, source type. And the, these are the two field names we actually have seen in the search results. And these are the, this is the data. All right, so now uh, I'll show you how we can uh, upload search results using the uh, alert. So far, we have seen how we can upload directly from search. So now I'm going to save it as a alert and I will make it as a test S3 final. And then I'm going to schedule this at now the time is 12.58, I'll just schedule it at uh, 12.59, 59 dollars, okay, so now I'm going to add action here, you see here, S3 upload, bucket name, test hyphen, from, so this time I'm, I'm not going to give any uh, file name here, let's see what will happen, what would be the file name in AWS S3 we see, okay. So 12.59, it's already reached, so let's make it uh, 1 o'clock, 0013, and then save it, view alert, okay, it's been scheduled, let's wait for the schedule to run, still it's not 1 o'clock, let's wait for some time, yeah, it's 1 now, as you can see, it's upload success, so let's see one more time what has happened, you can see here uh, before search name was empty because um, the search ran from the uh, search directly so there was no name now we see this is the search name we specified while we save the alert test s3 final and then you see the file name set to test hyphen s3 hyphen final and this is the timestamp let's go back to the aws console to check what is the file name under bucket yeah, as you see here, this is a search name underscore uh, approach time dot csv dot cz. Okay, uh, let, let's see how, how we can create a file under any directory of this packet. Let's go back to the alert again. Let's edit it. Let's make it directory one. File name is test 100 so there is no dial one available under this bucket so what will happen if this directory is available under this bucket it will create this file 
under the directory if this directory is not available under this bucket this will create the directory let's run this now the time is 1 1 let's make it 2 save it and this time i'm going to create a json file let's wait for a minute yeah it's 102 now let's search yeah as you can see here aws file name is dire one forward slash test hundred underscore approach time expected okay let's go back to the aws console and uh, reload this you should see directory one yeah you see here directory one under that you see the json file just to verify if the data is same or not just uh, download this file open the file this is the one open yeah you can see here it's in a json format i hope this clears all your doubt how to uh, configure this app let me just go back to the details like you know what are the prerequisites how to set up alert action and how to configure alert action troubleshooting steps if you have any questions please post it um, in the comments so that you know i'll try to rectify if you see any issues thank you so much